Um, he was a very passionate man, um, a very family-oriented man, loved his children um, more than anything in the world, I think, even more than me a little bit, <laughs> um, but very passionate about the fire service from when he could start, he was a fireman. Um, just an uh, all-around wonderful man. Really had no idea of the fire service at all. Um, and I really got to understand the fire service when I, when I um, started dating him. <laughs> and it grew more and more as we got married and had children. Um, and now my son, who is five, he's obsessed with the fire service as well. <laughs> um, he has his whole room as fire patches from all over the United States and even some from overseas. So um, yeah, definitely tr gonna follow in his father's footsteps, I believe. <clears throat> awesome. I always got to go to the fire station and hang out with everyone and it was fun. So if they were out and about somewhere and he had the kids, if he got a call, he would still go to that call um, and she would get the ride too. So like I said, he was very passionate about the fire service. So when that call came, he was always one of the ones that went, even if he wasn't working that day. He was definitely all in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Being a fireman's wife, you know, you go to the station and you see all the guys and the firemen's wives and you talk and, um, but when this happened, I gained a family. Um, they talk about brotherhood. I never understood that brotherhood until this happened. And it is amazing. It's, it's beyond words. I've tried to explain it to people, but it is just beyond words. It's been a year in June since Josh passed and they are still right by my side. Anytime I call, um, anytime I need anything, anytime my kids have school functions that deal with dads, they're right there standing in line waiting. Um, it, it's amazing, truly amazing. The day it happened, I was surrounded by firemen, some that, you know, I would pass at the fire station and say hi. Um, the day it happened, I was surrounded by those people and I'm still surrounded by those people today. I know that I can call on them at any time and they'll be right there. So it truly is a brotherhood. They actually threw her a birthday party, a surprise birthday party, and my son too, so. At the firehouse? Yes. Yeah. Wow, yeah. how cool was that? It was awesome. Yeah. Um, what I'd really want people to remember about my husband, about Josh, about their daddy is he was truly a family man. Um, I say the fire service was a passion of his, but family was most important to him. Um, his kids were the absolute most important thing to him. Whatever he could do for his kids, if it meant working at three fire stations to make sure they got to do dance or anything else, he was going to do it. So that's, he was a family man. He loved his kids, he loved his family. He was amazing and always did anything he could for us.